Hi, I'm going to show you how to add a question to the question bank as a tutor. I'm going to switch my role to tutor here. I'm signed in uh, as Ruth Ruan and I am in uh, Antiquarian Perfumery um, on the home page. So I'm uh, now um, logged in as a, tu a teacher and um, I'm going to turn my editing on just by clicking there and then I'm going to scroll right down here and to add a question we add a question to the question bank there's a difference between adding a question to the question bank and adding an activity which is a quiz which will allow you to choose questions from the question bank so we're going to first of all we're going to show you how to add a question to the question bank and then in the next tutorial we'll show you how to do a quiz and use some of the questions that are in the question bank. So we click on the question bank and we are going to do the question, uh, make a question in relation to safety. Put it in the safety category. So we are going to um, create a new question here. Now we already have two questions in the question bank in the safety category. We can see them right here. We can edit these. So we're going to choose multiple choice type question. So we're going to, from the drop down list, we choose multiple choice. It's already in safety, but we can have a chance even here to change the category. So we're going to, I have the question that I'm going to put in already planned out. So it's a really good idea if you do that before you start. So um, this is a safety question. What clothes? Do should you should you wear while working with raw materials? You can add a description in here. You don't have to, um, but you you can. If you want to add more description to your question or elaborate a little bit on your question. Here we will see you we can even put an image as well, which will be in our files. We can put an image there, which if we were asking a certain kind of image about maybe we could say tell us what is in this picture, for example, we could put an image there. Default question grade. So if you get full marks for this question, you could say just one point, but we're going to give it 10 points if they get this question right. If they get the question wrong, we're going to give them minus 10 points. We're going to be really mean, okay? but we can just say none if you like, or we can just say zero points if they get it wrong. Maybe we'll just leave it at zero. Um, we don't need to put anything in there because we can't see a red, red box. One or multiple answers, we're going to have one mul one answer only, but you can choose, so they can ha choose more than one answer. So the first answer that we have here, we're going to put something that makes you feel special. And we're going to give that a grade of none. Um, we don't have to put anything in there, but we could elaborate on it if we wanted to. This one is something... No, we. this answer is protective clothing and gloves. I would say gloves and protective clothing. And for this, we're going to give it the grade. We're going to give this a hundred percent. Sorry, up here. Sorry, this is it. We're going to give a grade of this one to a hundred percent. And this one, we're going to have old jeans and a short sleeved T shirt. And we are going to give this a grade of none also. 
and there we have all of them entered in and then we are going to save the changes we could put in a lot of different things here oh yes i skipped through his overall feedback for any correct response that's right we can give here for a correct response we can we can give um the correct response you have been paying attention well done um, for a partially correct response um, pay um, this is not the answer we were looking for uh, this is the wrong answer and then we're going to save the changes and what we've done by saving the changes is that we've saved a question in the question bank in a particular category so when we go to create quizzes in the next tutorial we will be able to find that question we'll be able to choose it for our quiz that we are going to cre create in our next tutorial and here we are here's our question bank here and we can see in the safety category we can see our question is here question name this here gives us a preview of the let's go ahead and click that and get a preview of our quiz this is what the quiz looks like here we go preview what clothes should you wear while working with raw materials choose one answer old jeans and a t-shirt something that makes you feel special gloved and protective clothing and here this is what it looks like we can even test it out we can say submit all and finish We will click submit all and finish and we're just going to test it because this is the preview we get we get the opportunity to do this here we go and it's correct answer you've been paying attention well done marks for this submission 10 out of 10 and here we go we get a chance also to start again previous date as a tutor you'll be able to choose whether you want the students to start again or not thank you for watching bye bye